Hello there everyone and welcome to Simple Beauty Stamp Set Layering Guide video. So this is the stamp set that we're going to be using and it is a beautiful one. So we have an outline image and then we have all different images that fit within this to create a beautiful floral cluster. We also have a separate leaf as well. So to start with I'm going to stamp the outline and I'm going to be using some obsidian black for this. So I'm going to make sure that I've inked this up perfectly before I do stamp this down into place. This is a large image so you may need a larger block to stamp this one. So once I have my outline into place I'm then going to start with the flowers. So for the larger flower I'm going to use the pink pearl ink for the base image. So to line this up, all you're going to want to do is make sure that it fits within that outline layer of the large flower because it fits in there perfectly. Once I've done that, I'm going to move on to the second layer. For this one, I'm going to be using the Coral Bliss ink. So I'm going to ink that one up. And for this one, I'm layering up the edge two leaves. So the one right on the right and the one on the left to make sure that the shadows touch those. Now I'm moving on to the smaller flower. For this one, I'm going to be using the Heartbeat ink. So I'm just going to make sure I've inked that all up and this one fits perfectly within the outline layer there. For the second layer of this one, I'm going to be using some of the Vineyard Berry ink. Now for this one, I'm going to line up the top part and the bottom part of the flower. So the tip of the petal and the base of the flower too. Next up, I'm going to move on to the leaves. Now for the first layer of all the leaves, I'm going to be using the frayed leaf ink. Now all of these leaves fit within the outline layer perfectly. So all you're going to need to do is find the correct layer for the um, leaf and then pop it straight into place. So like I said, I'm just going to be popping these in directly within those outline layers and I'm using the frayed leaf ink for this. Once I've finished all of the first layers, I'm then going to move on to the second ones. And this, for the second layer, I'm going to be using the Forest Glades ink. So for this leaf here, I'm going to be lining up the base of the leaves and also the tips because that's where the stamp shadows are. Again, with this one, like before, I'm lining up the base and the tips of the leaves. And again, for this little two leaf that we have going on, I'm lining up the base. And for this one, I'm lining up the base and along that top edge. Next up, I'm going to move on to the little flower centers. For these, I'm going to be using the pumpkin pie ink. Now, these will just fit in perfectly within the negative area that you didn't stamp for the flower. So the, the layers for the flower don't stamp these, so you're going to have some nice white areas to stamp into. I'm then going to move on to the singular like Baroque scroll leaf. And for the first layer, I'm going to be using the frayed leaf. For the second layer, I'm going to use the Forest Glades ink. And to line this one up, I'm going to add it to the base of the leaf and also along that middle edge that you can see going on. For the third layer, I'm going to use the Evergreen ink and again at the base and around that scroll piece. Last but not least, we have a little floral cluster outline and I'm just going to stamp that using some obsidian ink. And here are all the images in the stamp set. We really do hope that this video helps you and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.